So once the buckets are folded, uh, before they are taken to be packed, we we'll put a weighing scale here to just verify what is how much we are receiving in terms of cages from the fuel. And this at the end of the day, we'll have to compare it with what was purchased from the purchasing team. Yes, that is just for uh, checks and balances. So once the buckets have been weighed, then they are taken into the storage. You can come and show you the storage section. How many buckets do you process in a day? Um, in a day, averagely, it's about over 100. 100 buckets. 100 buckets. So about 250. Yeah, because we've got two shifts, yeah. so we're able to process about 200 buckets in a day. There's about four tons. Yes, that's about four tons. Three, three or four tons. Yes. Huh? So this is our storage section. And as you can see, also buckets are packed according to the first in, first out. Yes. So from the storage section, they are taken into the container where they're being warmed before they are processed. Because one good thing with honey is before you process it, because it's quite uh, sticky, but once you warm it, it becomes a bit loose and easy to, to process. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we heat, we warm the honey. Yeah, um, the maximum temperature we are using to warm the honey is about 40 degrees. Yes, at least that is a good temperature for warming the honey. Yes, then it's brought into the processing room, but again in the processing room, the honey will be graded. Yeah. While we're doing the grading, is just to make sure that our quality control is there. Yeah. 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 So and, then, and then after, what happens? Like it gets processed into these drums. Yeah. When uh, we get processed into the centrifuge, then fuel the separate tanks, yeah. which will be later uh, be emptied into the empty drums. The empty drums are those are our final packaging material for the liquid honey. Yeah. Yes, which will be ready for export. Yeah. But as we are all doing all, all that kind of work, we really need to know the particular drum, what types of farmers have gone into that drum. So that aside it, there's a recording uh, process of names. As we are filling the drums, we are taking note of those IDs I showed you out. Yeah. So that we'll be able to know that these are the big keepers that have filled such a drum. In case there's something that is uh, there's a problem with that a, such a drum. If our buyers get back to us, as long as they give us the drum number, we'll be able to trace where that drum was uh, coming from in terms of the... In which community it was coming Exactly, from? exactly. Yes, so that's one good thing about the, the ID. Yeah. Yes. So then where do these drums they go after? Where are they being sold to? Um, actually, we've, we've got our... Our office in Osaka, who do most of the marketing. So they, they are the people who know where the drum goes. But to our level, we just end up on production. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you allergic to bees? Um, I am. I am. So I make sure that I'm not bitten by my face, but when oh. my, on my hands, it doesn't bother me. Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Yeah, but for my face, if I'm bitten necessarily on the eyes and the lips, uh, I have no. Uh, not good. <laughs> it's not good for me. My <laughs> face will just be disturbed. Yes. And what do you enjoy about working at Forest Fruits? I really enjoy working with Forest Fruits because uh, my profession was a forest. Uh, my forest my profession, and that was the first career that I did. So I like working with, uh, in the in the bush, and I've enjoyed working with Forest Fruits for the past seven years. And uh, one good thing is I'm not actually from this area, but I come from the western part of Zambia. But I've, I'm able to, to mingle with my yeah, brothers here. I'm lost by tribe. <laughs> so I found them to be actually we are brothers. So it's very, it's been very good for me working with them. I've known a lot of things from here. I've learned quite a, a lot of things from, from the people around. Yeah, so I enjoy working with bees. Because I enjoy eating honey. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just so, it's just so nice for me. As long as they don't sting you in the face. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time I was eating a bun. Then I didn't know that there was a bee on the other side. Then I just got a sting in, on my tongue. So it was just too much swollen for me. But bees, they're there. I know, yes, bees are quite dangerous. They can kill. Yeah. But uh, you just have to know how to handle them.
Yeah. Bees are friendly if you handle them very well. Yeah. And bees are quite dangerous if you mishandle them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Evan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.